to Minecraft Splish. We are play back playing on my server today, and today's plan was... Oh, hey, buddy, you look a little a little dark there. To be working around this area. You may remember that we have a second spawner out the back here, and we really wanted to be able to preserve it. But as you can see, despite all the torches, there are things spawning in there, and this includes uh, poisoned spiders, which actually makes it a very, very awkward place to work. This is a known bug on the Minecraft bug tracker. Oh gosh, this has been ruining everyone's day. Uh, the this this area in here was in fact uh, all in darkness. I went out. I started to have a look around to see what was going on, and uh, maybe maybe we can go have a look. Maybe there's a creeper out here. Um, I. I'm not actually sure how good an idea this is, but here we go. Uh, we run over this way, and I was fighting the spiders here. They kind of came out of that way while I was placing torches, and I was like, oh no, what do I do? Uh, and they backed me up all the way down to this area here, where unfortunately, actually, oh, I really want to have something on my bow. Oh, come on, blow it up, see if I care. Uh, oh, I need more, more blocks. And then that happened. You see what's going on there? <laughs> <laughs> all right well i suppose that is the best demonstration of what actually went down all right let's go and have a look and see if any of my stuff actually survives buddy sit down there you seem to be having uh some problems there yeah so a bit, one thing i have noticed is people with it because people are saying that um people within a couple of blocks of spawn uh, anything up to 500 blocks seem to be safe but the people that are further away seem to be having all the troubles. Oh, look at that. I got some free coal. Oh, yeah, I can get some torches back. Unfortunately, things like my shield, my food, all that stuff kind of got lost in the lava. I full on backed up into it whilst fighting the cave spiders, actually. Let's uh, rearrange a few of these things. There's some more torches. Beautiful. Uh, now, really, ideally, I do back over there. I do want to try and light this place up, but I'm, I'm just going to leave it for now. You know what? This area, it's it's no bueno. It's not safe. It's there's no way to do to play here unless they suddenly magically fix it in the next update. Unfortunately, we are going to be a little bit behind the update because obviously Spigot, the uh, the server files we use to uh, keep the server safe, needs to be updated as well. Anything dangerous going down here? So until such time as Moyang fixed their broken game, we're going to be working around here in the base. This isn't where I wanted to be looking. Brilliant. So we've got a few things that we want to do here. First off, TP. Uh, is that how we want to live? But I also want to do a few things. I need a cow farm. I need a wheat farm to feed the cow farm. I need a me food source. I mean, that's very helpful. I'm thinking maybe these guys can help me with the me food source. Uh, and over this way, we should have cows and less. No, good. All right, good. I, I've been hearing uh, hearing rumor that server restarts are killing entities, including cows and stuff like that. And uh, that, that wouldn't be fun. That wouldn't be fun. So this thing over here, you guys might have noticed that I was not looking at it. I want to build a base. TP, it's fun, but it's not, like, it's not, not permanent, is it? We've got a portal over there, and I think that's going to be fun. I'm calling that Creeper Island over there. The reason being, it doesn't matter how many torches I put down, Creeper spawn over there. Love it. Love it on the lighting glitches. So up here, you can see that I've put down a whole load of concrete. I am making a Taurus. That's a donut to you and me. I haven't got any meat for you, buddy. Why are you walking around? Sit down, stone. Don't, don't fall off here. You're going to be in trouble if you do that. I, I, I really don't want Buddy to die. Uh, that, that, that chunk over there was also a dark one. You can tell by the things that have spawned. Uh -huh. But anyway, I intend to use this as a storage area first and foremost. I need somewhere to put all my stuff. But that's only really going to take up half of the donut. Um, so I think we're going to use the rest for uh, some automatic farms and things like that. Hey. Now, I was planning to come up here with a bucket, but obviously I died in lava and don't have anything. So let me go and get all that sorted. So as well as all the green concrete, I've also been making all this glass because no one wants to live in a fully opaque donut. Well, I don't. Anyway, that... That would be really boring. So uh, what I'm going to do is put a glass half top on it. I'm thinking glass sides as well. Now, I've been using a website called Plots. You may or may not have heard of it. Uh, and it is a way of getting uh, voxelized shapes uh, nice and easy. Uh, you just put in the, the shape you want. You put in the, the dimensions that you want. In this case, it was the diameter and the thickness of the torus. Uh, and you get a nice little block-by-block -block layout for how to put one of these together. 
So it's been a little bit of a time. I've taken a little bit of a break just so we can get uh, Minecraft 14.2 out because, oh man, those lighting glitches, they were destroying everyone's day and no one was about it. So a lot of people just kind of take a, took a break and that included myself. But I've gone through. We have built this. Uh, me and Miss Aligned uh, took a stream and we entirely built this. I'm not overly keen on the green color. So you can see I'm going around replacing all the gray. But that's taking uh, some time. But more importantly, look at the landscape we have set down here. We've got like smoking ruins. There's a, a crystal inside the middle of the UFO. Let's just quickly get rid of this guy because he's uh, not really needed. If we come in here, it's like some sort of propulsion crystal. It's being held in place by the wool. I, I'm not sure. This literally the weakest element of the entire build, if you ask me, is this little cross support here. But I just the whole idea, I love it. We've got this like power crystal in the middle, and there's some sort of like landing happen down here. Oh, it just looks so good, and I uh, love it. We could probably do with a couple more blocks like scattered around on the floor, stuff like that. But you know, we'll, we'll, we'll do that as and when. What I'm actually after is a bit of podzol for it, and I don't, I don't actually have any podzol, so we'll have to go find some. All right, I want to have a quick talk to you guys about what we see here, and in fact. Talking about what we see here, I want to quickly show you guys that I have installed uh, a Vanilla Tweaks resource pack. This is a whole a bunch in a side of it. If you go to uh, Zuma, zoomavoid.com, uh, in there you will find a whole load of stuff uh, from him. But I've been, you go through and you mix and match what you want. The most important things I want to show you is look, look at my experience bar. It's all covered in rainbows. And over there you can see that the grass has like come down the edge of the blocks where appropriate. All right, cool. So that that's texture packs. Oh, also such things as like the slime is being shown on the side and uh, hoppers show directionality. I can't show it on that one because they uh, they don't point a direction. But, you know, look, look, there we go. We've got a little uh, arrow on the side there. So that's looking pretty good. But I want to show you this machine here. This is a dual purpose machine. This uh, creates cactus and uh, sugar cane because I'm fed up of having that. Like, look at this. Look, how, how bad does this look? I, I want to get rid of it. I want to get rid of it. Uh, completely so you can see that I've already moved all the cactus away from here, but uh, Sad times guys sad times. We've lost all the all the animals lost all the mobs entirely This is of course because we updated it's something we knew would happen and uh, it fixed the lighting glitches So that makes it all okay, but this thing here basically the cactus just grows uh, Passively you all know the system if you have a block next to the bit that it's going to grow into it'll pop off and land into this water here And this the sugar cane is getting de detected by the observer up top bam and it pushes out and it pushes it into the water And you're like, Oh, that's all right. That looks pretty good But why is it out in the middle of nowhere? Good question. That was just a prototype I mean like look who, who builds stuff out of cobble what? Ugh. Down here, down in this little cave, we've got a little passive system ticking over. Ah, oh, I keep keep forgetting that. So we've got a water pipe coming through here. I'm going to have to do something to make the pipe look a little bit more pipe-like. But it comes out, it spills down. We've got a little half slab here to push either direction for whatever happens to the cactus. And then also this same detection system here comes down and loads stuff into the hopper. It's not the fastest thing you've ever seen in the world, but you know what? It will do for any, like, sugar or cactus that I actually end up needing. So I'm going to rip that down over there. I'm going to actually start moving all my uh, all my equipment inside because the temporary TP is terrible. We need to get rid of it. It is uh, unacceptable. Uh, but over here, yeah, we can have a look inside. I've basically just started putting down a bunch of chests on the inside. This is all like building materials. And then round the back here, we've got bulk material. Uh, there's things like cobble going down here and then dirt on the other side. All right. And then I will also be replacing all this green with gray because the green looks horrible. Uh, no matter what I did, it just ended up looking like some sort of Christmas tree ornament. So I'm going to be going around replacing it all with gray. And then when that also looks flat and boring, we'll replace that with something else, right? Okay, mostly we've got rid of all the excess chests around my TP now, and mostly the facelift is complete. I actually like it. I'm getting very slight Pokeball feels off of it, but, you know, whatever. If we just ignore that, it's looking a much more like some sort of intergalactic traveller from beyond the stars rather than, I don't know, whatever that green and red thing was that was causing Christmas tree of vibes. Inside, I've moved the staircase because coming into like straight into it was a little bit of a worry. I've also put a bed down here. Uh, I want to do some beautiful things up here. I, you can see I'm sort of playing around with some sort of control panel idea, but honestly, I think what we're going to do is have these slabs back here for the aliens to stand 
hand on then have like floating control panel here i think that would work out pretty well and underneath well underneath i've gone through and i've replaced a lot more of the blocks with soul sand corsta and stuff like that still no pods old to my name so we're gonna have to uh make a work on that at some point but I think this is looking a lot better down here. Uh, I still need to bring it out more. Uh, I think it needs to extend beyond. You see how there's smoke coming up, uh, up from the legs and stuff like that. Definitely this sort of crushed terrain needs to come out a lot further. Maybe using more of the path blocks and coarse dirt coming out here rather than the soul sand like we've got in the, the inside. Because the soul sand definitely feels more like sort of the burning from the crystal, if you will. But what are we going to do now? Well, I think we need to build another one. Why do we need to build another one? Well, if I can run all the way over here, I will let you guys know. Because we've got some holes in the ground over here. And holes in the ground... Uh, not nice it's not a nice way to live we want to make sure that these guys are feeling much much better uh these guys are going to go over with the xp farm because that's where i want the books i think that makes like total sense that's where i want the books so that's where we're going to put them but these two i went off on a great big adventure over that way found ourselves some hills and because obviously all the animals are dead on the server um there was a lot more spa spawning going on so uh, i managed to uh, pull these guys back and we're going to make them their own little UFO. You might be thinking, that's cool, but don't you already have a UFO? Why would you want just another UFO? Aren't you already doing just a decorational thing? And to you, I say not everything needs to have a function, but this time it might very well actually have a function. If we have a look down below in my inventory, you can see that I've got a whole bunch of stuff here. Uh, and I want to go about making some sort of design like this. Now, you can see that hopper minecart down the bottom. I'm told by that from the fact that it is led on top of a rail that it can do such crazy things as pick up items through this block and i want to find out about that let's come down let's get that bit of dirt out of there and let's just kind of throw stuff like that oh yeah okay so the plan is i don't know if you guys are aware of cub fan i can't remember the numbers but you know cub fan from the hermitcraft um server uh he has made a uh, a beautiful beautiful little farm that kind of works a little bit like this so we have a dispenser far, uh, pointing at where the sheep are going to go we have an observer underneath looking at that bit of dirt there uh, and then we need some sort of way of transferring the power up imagine that's just a redstone dot Hang on, who needs imagination when you can actually do stuff so when this block gets updated somehow either by the grass growing well that's not actually what's going to happen we're going to have uh, naked sheep on top we're going to pre-shear these guys and we're going to drop them into a little compartment uh, right here to hold them in front of the dispenser. Uh, they're, they're nice and tall, so hopefully we should be able to just trap them in this sort of area if we do something like this. I'll obviously be using glass, space age technology, of course. And then they will eat the, the block underneath. This will update the observer, which will fire that, which will, if we put a shear in there, will take the wool off of the sheep's back and then drop it into the cart as we have just tested. Oh, beautiful. Now, I want, what we're going to do have a problem with there is that like, you see how there's grass here, but no grass there. Now, we could wait for it just to grow back. <laughs> Don't like that idea at all. We're going to use pistons, and we're going to like get the output from there to push one of them, and then uh, everything else is going to be an auto piston, and it's all going to like push around in a nice big circle, and then grass can kind of like grow over here. Oh, yeah, it's going to be beautiful. I'm going to build it up there. Uh, you, I think you can see why I think it will work as a UFO. It's got this nice, nice like, round symmetry to it. So uh, hopefully it won't be too bulky. Uh, and we will see if I can put another beautiful system around it. I think I'm probably going to go for the light grey again because it just makes a better looking UFO. And I'm not sure what we can do with the underside of it to make it look a little bit more uh, UFO-like rather than just flying donut. Uh, these are things we're going to have to worry about in a second. Ooh-wee, these pillager patrols are getting larger. I've been having a fair few troubles with those, actually, as time has gone by. They like like to spawn on top of those black carpets over there and then come flooding down at me. But now, now is the time for sheep. And you might notice that uh, one of the problems that we've got up here is the lack of grass. Let's come all the way up and show you here. I've got this lovely little dirt ring in place. This is the mechanism, by the way. Hey, should I, should, do you want to do you want to see what it does? Do you want to see what it does? Okay, so you'll notice that all of these pistons are, well, apart from that one over there, are set up to automatically move a block on. So if, for instance, this block was to go ahead... Oh, no, I'm going to break it if I do that. Let's, uh, let's take this block out over here first. <laughs> Uh, the thing with piston tapes is you've got to figure out exactly which way they're going to be pushing. Uh, so, when this block gets pushed forwards, that torch down below is going to power that block, which is going to pass on the power to this redstone torch, which powers that and powers that. All right, it's, it's, a, it's a bit weird, but that's how it works. Bam. And you can see that that piston then pushes forwards, 
pushes this one into this, power, 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 through, uh, pushes this one forward, power, needs a delay, goes round to here. Now, the reason it needs a delay is because if, you, uh, if you're not putting a delay over there, this one is still going to be pushing by the time this block tries to come in the side, and then it all, like, breaks over there, and it's pretty bad. But yes, as I say, it is time for us to go and get some sheep. I think we also need to get some grass up here, as I was saying. Now you can see down below on the very bottom couple of rungs of this particular dirt ladder, uh, we've got some grass growing, but oh god, can you... What was that noise? Can you imagine how long that would take if we had to sit here and wait for that? Thankfully, over time, there, there, there's this mob in the game. I'm not sure if you guys are aware, but an enderman is a thing, and he likes to pick up blocks and come and have a go at you. And thankfully, if you kill him quick enough, you get to get the blocks that he had. So this is how I've picked up two bits of grass over time. I do also have a silk touch pickaxe, and I want to go do a little bit of a science experiment here, guys. To me, obviously, what I need is a silk touch shovel. Yeah, that's it just kind of makes sense. If I'm digging dirt, I want a shovel. Ah, it works for that as well. I, I, Mo Yang... I know most people are asking for the game to be made easier, but I, th I think in this particular situation, I'd, I'd like that not to be the case. Okay, a couple of bits of grass down. It's kind of doing the best that I can possibly do to keep these guys all nice and safe. We're going to put a few trapdoors up over here as well. Now, I'm not sure whether the grass is going to be enough. Do I want to layer a trapdoor up front here? I'm not sure. I, I, I do want the trapdoor down the bottom and i used to be able to go ahead and put this here uh the problem is oh, i put aside from the fact that i put it up facing the wrong way uh the real problem here is the fact that we get uh, power into this so every time i put it down thuswards if you can uh, and despite the fact that it's up the power's going to come along and close it down again and that is a rubbish thankfully i brought a whole bunch of glass along with me i said a whole bunch i only brought two I've been getting this weird thing with the game recently where I will pick up an entire stack of something uh, and, I don't know, it just kind of only gives me a couple for some reason. I'm not entirely sure what's actually going down there, but it's uh, it's it's not great, I've got to say. It is uh, not great. Do I want to just leave this one open or how are we going to ship the uh, ship, uh, sheep, sorry, ship the sheep into here? Uh, I'm not entirely certain, but find out we must. The other thing that I'm not entirely certain of is this pathway here. Now, I've got I've got options for bringing the sheep up, but I think what we're actually going to do is just kind of double this pathway out and then try and use some uh, some wheat. That's the word I'm looking for. Try and use the wheat to uh, bring them up here. Oh, that was a big drop. I was really thought I was going to die on camera then. Uh, like, so much so that a noise didn't even escape my mouth when it happened. I was like, <gasps> speechless. <laughs> Okay, a little box of wonders here. I've got a couple of bits of wheat. I'm just going to throw that into my hoff hand. And I think we're going to take both at a time. I was on an hour about whether to only take one sheep at a time. Uh, but that would only have happened if... Oh, 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 that was that was silly. That would only have happened if I had had one wide pacing there for the way up. Uh, the reason that was silly is because I sheared an it at the same time and fed, fed them for breeding at the same time. And I didn't actually know that you could do that. But there we go. Things have been learned. Like, this guy, we're going to have... Uh, we're probably going to have to push him off. Uh, we, we need them to be sheared, to be a little bit naked. We need the naked sheep, is basically what I'm saying here. This system will not work unless all sheep are naked. I don't want the baby coming up here. Uh, I There we go. Okay, cool. That's that's fine. Hopefully, we can just carry on like this, and everything will work out well. Good. Uh, that's, that's good. That's kind of like a self-sorting mechanism there. I like that. I wonder if it's the fact that the baby weighs less, so these guys... Uh, have a stronger colliding box than them? I don't know. Please don't push each other off that. That would not be helpful. Okay, I don't know how close to the end we are. All right, good, 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 good. We we're getting getting there. Don't push each other off the side, guys. Now I need you to get in the box. Get in the box. Oh. Poop, I think is the appropriate word here. That that was not as I wanted it to be at all. But we've got the guys up there, so I'm going to just spend a little moment trying to shuffle them around. Uh, maybe there'll be a hilarious montage of me trying, or maybe it will just happen straight away. Who knows? Oh, no. Oh, they're pushing each other off. The savages. The savages. This is not what we want. Oh, well, there's one of them. Oh, man. Oh, oh. The, the stop, stop, stop moving around. Stop moving around. It's, tra it's the trapdoors, isn't it? It's because I put trapdoors on there. Uh, whew. Look at, look at these. 
I put these here just for looks. Uh, can we get you up and on here? You can't walk up in the same way that I can. That's crazy. I thought that would be the case. Oh, I'm really sad that we've lost. Not only lost one, but also the baby's dead. Like, what am I supposed to do with that particular piece of information? Uh, okay, let's try this again. Come on, buddy. I know you can get in here. I have definitely put members of your species into small spaces like this before. Maybe we can just, like, shove you in this way. Now, if you could just stay there, be interested in the things that are going on around you. <clears throat> Let me get you... But maybe I'm in the way. Gotta do this right. Yeah, I was in the way. Okay, if we press F3B, uh, you can see the bounding box that's on them there. So, should be nice. Okay, now, unfortunately, we've got to wait. You see the, the grass growing? The grass is growing. Gonna take some time, though, right? Gonna take a long time. I'd like to get another one in here as well. Grr. Thankfully, during my travels, I happen to have seen a lost sheep over this way. I'm fairly sure it's one of the uh, new breed, one of the new spawns. There he is, because I'm fairly sure I didn't used to have sheep over this way. Hey, buddy. Hey, 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 hey. Do you wanna do you wanna come be a space sheep? Yeah, space sheep. Isn't that great? Don't don't you wanna go to the great beyond? No, you wanna just kind of hang around in this field. Well, good news for you, buddy. This spaceship can't move. Yo. Oh wow guys, what a wait. You've just watched an entire time lapse of this grass growing. Not this block here though, that's the extra one the Enderman brought along. It managed to come along and get all the way over to here, but man, this is taking some time. And also, oh, the sun's going down. I don't like that. Also, I don't like these trap doors. I put them here just to see if they'd be any better than like a few random bits of glass being scattered around. And it turns out, no, they're probably not. So let's go get a few bits of glass. How many exactly do we need? Six. Okay, I brought eight just in case. You never know when I've got anything wrong. Let's try to go and take these out. Also, do you like my 3D trapdoors? They're from the uh, Vanilla Tweaks, as everything else is. Um, I, I, I think they're really nice, actually. Uh, it, it always struck me as a little weird when playing Minecraft that you could like look through a trapdoor and then not see the back edge. Now, I understand for performance reasons why that is a thing, but... I, I have spent a lot of money on my computer. I, I really don't think I need to worry about the performance. Now, are they going to just spill out the moment I get this down? That's the question. Yeah, oh, instantly. Instantly. Okay, we're going to have to try and figure out another way of doing this. But that's fine. Can you get back up over that way, please? Oh, it was hard enough getting you in there when you were a baby. Actually, the other guy was a baby, weren't they? No, don't do it, man. Don't do it. Hmm, thinking time. Thinking time. This was going to just be a nice, easy wrap. Oh, don't do it, buddy. Don't do it. Don't do it. All right, you, stop. Get back in there. You are good where you are. Right. Oh, we are in double trouble now. Oh, one just fell. One just fell. Okay, let's try and do this like this. If we can just get one in there, then that would be great. Oh, I can't. Oh, look, there's a block of wool down there and a bit of mutton and everything. This is... This is sad, sad, sad times. Would you just get in the hole, please? Okay, so it was sad times about the baby, but thankfully I keep two little sheep around now uh, since the last time. And then what you do is you back off as quick as you can from the adults, and the baby will just carry on following you, which is much better than trying to like actually like fish one out from amongst the whole group. Okay, and the best thing about babies is once you've got them up here and you put the wheat away, he should just run in there with his buddy. No, are you not? 
You're not feeling, don't do it, buddy. Oh. Why? Why? <laughs> oh, the, oh, the humanity of it all. Uh, I might be on the very edge of changing my mind about one by one whole farming. Maybe, maybe, maybe it is the best way. Maybe sheep don't need to have life of adventures. New method for keeping breeding pairs? Question mark. No, no, that's not okay. All right, that's that's unfortunate. How do I break the box? No, F three B without hitting the sheep right there. Okay, now are you gonna get it on? Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. All right, come on, you. We're we're going, and then we're gonna keep those two. Oh, you know what? Let's do it now. I I, I like the idea of keeping them in a boat. That's that's a good play. Oh, it might not be the best for actual breeding, but uh, works well at keeping them alive. Okay, so last time I was saying if you put the wheat away, they'll just run on in there, and that has happened for me in the past. But this time, because of all the troubles I've been having, I'm just gonna go ahead. And uh, you know what? Have some wheat, buddy. And then put you in the hole. Good. Right. Awesome. So when hopefully... Oh, I can't get to the little guy's uh, hitbox to give him more. That's fine. But hopefully he will grow up before the grass grows. Uh, and then when the grass grows, the shears will get him rather than getting his mate. But, you know, that's that's starting to look a little bit unlikely. Which means we might need to try and get in there and try and do a thing. Uh, where we separate them. I wonder if uh, getting water in the bottom and then watching them bob up and down like the old stuff would work, uh, like the cow farm over there would work. Hmm, hmm, yes. Yeah, they, they, I think they agree. I think they agree. But with that piston tape firing, oh man, look at it. They are underway. He's going to eat it. Yeah, beautiful. He's going to carry on eating the grass continuously. What's going on with that? That might be... A bit of a problem if that's actually what's going to go on. Is he actually going to grow up at any point? Is that even going to happen? Have I just discovered a bug? Because if he carries on doing that, oh man, the grass is not going to grow back fast enough. Not even a little bit. Why is the baby eating so much grass? I want the other guy to eat some grass. Do it, man. Okay, I ran away to try and stop the baby eating all the grass, but I think that might have actually been some sort of growing up process. Also, look how long this has taken. All this grass has grown up here. It turns out I could have waited, but I didn't realise it was going to take... Uh, uh, it was going to be so quick a turnover on the grass blocks. It turns out that they're going to eat a lot of these. Well, we do have a little bit of spread on the go over here, so that's pretty cool. Thankfully, I did put these blocks down for that specific reason. Hey, guys, you're going to uh, do me a wonder and eat some of the stuff. I just want to quickly have a look under there and see what we've got in the oldie hatch. Is it going to work for me? Six white wool already. Wow, guys. Oh, wow. But with that, I am going to say thank you very much for joining for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we did a whole bunch of stuff. We made ourselves a brand new home slash UFO things. We found a nice way of storing sheep. We built ourselves a nice little UFO wool farm. And of course, we've got all the stuff going on over in the XP farm. I will see you next time when we're going to do a little bit of work over in the XP farm. And I think maybe it's time to get that trouble in terrorist town working up and properly. But I'll see you then. When we're gonna do that. Bye. Hey, buddy. How you doing?